Welcome to everybody. I am Dr. P. Vinod Kumar, Associate Professor, Department of Forensic Medicine at Sri Balaji Medical College, Bombay, Chennai. So today's class is about what is forensic medicine and what is the history behind forensic medicine. So what is the specific learning objectives of this class? So to know the definition of forensic medicine, what is clinical forensic medicine, what is forensic pathology, what is state medicine and legal medicine and what is medical jurisprudence and also to know about the glorious history of forensic medicine. So we will go into class proper. So what is the aim of teaching forensic medicine? The goal of teaching forensic medicine to undergraduate students is to impart knowledge of legal procedures involved in practice of medical profession and to apply the knowledge of medical science for the purpose of, of executing justice in the courts of law. Further, the teaching will help the students to know about medical ethics, etiquette to be followed during the practice of medicine. So what are the objectives? So knowledge. At the end of the course, the student shall be able to appear in the court of law as a registered medical practitioner and give evidence in cases of homicide, assault, sexual offences, alcoholic intoxication, drug dependence and other cases requiring medical opinion. They can practice medicine society following the medical ethics and etiquette as prescribed by the National Medical Commission. Skill They can conduct autopsy on medical legal cases and issue post-mortem certificates. Then. After finishing MBBS, a person that is a doctor will be skillful to examine cases of injury, assault, homicide at the hospital and issue required medical legal certificate. Then he will be able to treat cases of poisoning and issue certificates to court and the police. Integration The student will be able to integrate and apply knowledge of anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pathology, microbiology, medicine, surgery, obstetrics and gynecology for purpose of legal procedures and execution of justice. So what does the word forensic mean? Forensic is a Latin word which comes from forensis meaning belonging to the market, place or forum. In ancient Rome, the forum or public meeting place was where legal cases were tried and pleaded. So what is forensic science? Forensic science is the application of the knowledge of science for the purpose of law and justice. It has various branches like forensic physics, forensic chemistry, forensic biology. Forensic physics involves the examination of glass fragments for example and find the refractive indices in case of vehicular accidents, road traffic accidents. And forensic chemistry involves the chemical analysis of an unknown poison found in the stomach or other organs. Forensic biology, it involves the analysis of blood stains or seminal stains found at the scene of crime or in the case of sexual assault. So what is forensic medicine? It is otherwise known as state medicine or legal medicine. It is the application of medical knowledge, all branches of medicine including laboratory examinations to aid in the administration of law and justice. A young lady may allege that some Mr. X has sexually assaulted her, while Mr. X vehemently denies this. Seminal fluid recovered from a vagina must have the same DNA profile as that of Mr. X. Only after this one can say whether or not Mr. X is guilty. So forensic medicine provides a basic working knowledge for the inter interpretation of medical facts and the circumstances surrounding unexplained 
or violent deaths forensic pathology plays an important role in crime investigation because it provides important pieces of information so what is clinical forensic medicine so it's the application of clinical methods for the administration of justice live rape rape victim or survivor is examined for evidence of sexual assault and associated injuries examination of a battered baby who is still alive so it is completely different from other subjects one would encounter crime and criminals murder sexual assault cases killings poisoning so on and so forth what is forensic pathology forensic pathology is application of knowledge of pathology for the administration of justice ambrose pere a french army surgeon systematically studied the effects of violent death on internal organs doing post mortem examinations reducing the cause of death manner of death and time since death there are other forensic science services like forensic anthropology forensic identification forensic ballistics forensic entomology forensic psychiatry forensic odontology forensic toxicology and forensic psychology so forensic psychiatry is application of knowledge of psychiatry for the administration of justice according to a law if a person is found to be insane he wouldn't be held responsible for the murder he had committed this is because the law presumes that such a person cannot have a guilty mind or mens rea extremely important for the courts to determine whether that the person is really insane or is only malingering so matthew orfella is considered to be the father of toxicology as you can see in the photograph he is from spain he was the first person to systematize the study and classification of toxic substances when he found traces of poison in the liver of a dead dog so this is dr bertillon of france he was involved in identification of remains that is anthropometry in 1879 he involved a system of measuring people of body measurements length breadth height width and he developed the bertillon system fingerprinting so fingerprinting was developed by sir galton uh, and he gave a scientific classification of fingerprints in 1892 in 1896 ed henry he gave a system of matching fingerprints to identify people so what is medical jurisprudence it is the legal aspects of practice of medicine deals with the legal responsibilities of the doctor in treating the patients physician while prescribing medicines for his patients is guided by certain rules and regulations if he is negligent towards his patients he may have to face the law the terminology of medical jurisprudence has changed to forensic medicine after the independence of the country so what is medical ethics it deals with the moral principles we should guide members of medical profession in their dealings with one another with the patients and with the state doctor is not expected to refuse treatment to a patient on religious grounds similarly he is not expected to ask for a cut from his colleague to whom he refers his patient for some special investigation also a doctor is not expected to employ touts or quacks for furtherance of the medical practice medical etiquette so medical etiquette basically deals with the conventional laws of and customs of courtesy observed between members of the medical profession a doctor is not expected to charge for giving medical advice or medicines to another doctor and he should not talk ill about his colleagues so let us see about the brief history about the forensic medicine around 3000 bc the first ever medico legal expert Imhotep, the Grand Vizier, Chief Justice, and physician to King Zoster of Egypt, you can see in the photograph. Criminal abortion was punishable by law at that time. The Egyptians were well versed in the art of preservation of dead bodies by mummifying them artificially. So, around 2200 BC, the oldest record about medical legal matters is the Code of Hammurabi. He was the king of Babylon, as you can see in the photograph. This code includes details of the regulation of doctors. and the practice and punishment of physician for malpractice or negligence around 1000 to 50 bc in the 6th century bc in rome weightage was given to the assessment of severity of the wound on one side and negligence in the treatment on the other side in cases of fatality or death after injury in 535 bc the greek physician 
Almagion of Croton dissected human cadavers for scientific purposes. In Greece in 5th century and 4th century BC, Hippocrates was regarded as the father of medicine. He described medical ethics and lethality of the wounds and causes of sudden death. In 300 BC, post-mortem was conducted by Alexandrian physicians, Erasistratus and Herophilus. They dissected corpses to understand disease. The Eureka legend of Archimedes can be considered an early account for the use of forensic science. So the first medico-legal autopsy in history is said to have been conducted by the ancient Roman physician Antistius, who examined the body of Julius Caesar after his assassination in 44 BC. Justinian Code, which appeared in 529 to 564 AD, that is during the 1st to 5th century AD, this prescribed medical practice and imposition of penalties for malpractice and negligence. Physicians are not ordinary witness, but they give judgment in case of importance and sterility rather than testimony. Barbarian Statute In the court of law, the help of medical experts should be taken to evaluate injuries before awarding punishment. So during the 12th to 15th century AD, inquest was made obligatory in case of sudden death. So inquest means inquiry into the cause of death. The first medical autopsy was conducted in Italy in Bologna in 1302. In 1374, the Pope gave right of autopsy of gave the right of autopsy examination. So during the 15th to 16th century AD, jo Johann Weyer was the first medical legal psychiatrist. He differentiated between bad intention and mentally ill people. So during the 17th century AD, evaluation of injuries by medical experts was necessary to proportionate punishment. The first medical legal journal was published in Berlin. Paulo Zacchaeus in Rome was considered the father of legal medicine. Caroline Court, written by German Emperor Charles V, first to request expert medical testimony for case of, of suspected murder. Ambrose Perry, the famous forensic pathologist, led the way in describing injuries inflicted by firearms and he differentiated anti-mortem injuries from post-mortem ones. So the three great pioneers of forensic medicine during 17th to 18th century AD were Johann Ludwig Casper, Matthew Joseph Bonaventure Orfila, he was considered the father of modern toxicology, then Mary Guillaume Alphonse de Vergy from Paris. So they devote their entire life in the study and development of forensic medicine as we understand it today. So Robert Christensen is a medical legal expert in case of the Burke and Hare case. So Andrew Duncan coined the term medical jurisprudence. In 1850, the Northern Lancet and Gazette of Legal Medicine a Journal on Forensic Medicine is published by Nelson in New York. In 1896, X-ray pictures admitted as evidence in Wichita, Kansas and Denver and Colorado. In the 19th and 20th century, forensic medicine made rapid advances. Say, McNaughton's rules in case of mentally unsound person was implemented. In 1940, New York City, Creating a medical examiner system was both a physician and a pathologist capable of conducting postmortems was established. Alfred Swain Taylor was famous in English legal medicine. The latest forensic technique of DNA fingerprinting was perfected in 1985 by a Leicester University professor, Alec Jeffries. He was able to identify an individual positively among millions of suspects. This technique is very useful in solving cases of sexual assault, dispute paternity, putrefied bodies, and so on. In 1966, Dr. Keith Simpson recognized battered baby syndrome and the famous Lockhart principle of exchange was given by Edmund Lockhart, as you can see in the photograph. He was a French professor and considered the father of criminalistics. So local exchange principle, whenever two objects come into contact with each other, traces of each are exchanged. So the historical aspect of forensic medicine in India. So during the Indus Valley Civilization, Manusmriti, Vedic literatures, Charaka Samhita, Chanakya's Arthashastra, 
एंड किंग अशोक का पीरियड एंड सुश्रुता समिता सो दे आर ऑल इन्वॉल्व सो विल गो टू मनुस्मृति इट डिस्क्राइब स्ट्रिक्ट मेजर्स टू कर्ब चाइल्ड मैरिजेस सिवियर पनिशमेंट फॉर सेक्शुअल अब्यूज एंड अबॉर्शन मेंटल इलनेस इन इंटॉक्सिकेट पर्सन इन केबल ऑफ मेकिंग अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड कंसेंट वॉज डिस्कस्ड वेदिक लिटरेचर्स डिस्क्राइब डिफरेंट डिजीजेस हीलिंग पास डिफरेंट क्राइम्स एंड पनिशमेंट फॉर देम Agnivesa Charaka Samhita described the professional norms and conduct rules for the physicians of ancient times just like the Hippocratic oath the importance of professional secrecy in medical practice Chanakya Sarta Shastra described about law and order and administration of justice and practice of medicine no one is allowed to practice medicine without the written permission of the king the physician was liable for punishment for the patient's death or injury due to the physician's carelessness or neglect in treatment punishment for crimes were given in case of sexual offence murder infanticide and criminal abortion king ashoka after kalinga war adopted the principle of buddhism he established hospitals and roadside clinics for treatment of ailing patients and poisoning victims sushruta samhita sushruta is considered the father of indian surgery he dealt with surgical and associated problems and how to treat them he described the qualities of a physician and described the various poisons and the treatment in india the first professor of medical jurisprudence dr c t o woodford at calcutta medical college in 1845 and dr j singh p modi he is considered the father of indian forensic medicine so why should a doctor medical doctor worry about crime in the first place what relation does his profession have with crime there are host of criminal cases and situations where the problem can only be solved through an intelligent application of medical principles so the legal position in india is governed by the indian constitution the indian penal code of 1860 the crpc or criminal procedure code of 1861 the indian evidence act of 1872 and the code of civil procedures so to conclude so what you have seen to in today's class is about what is the definition of forensic medicine so as i told forensic medicine is application of medical knowledge to aid in the administration of justice so what are the different branches of forensic medicine we have discussed the various branches that is clinical forensic medicine state medicine or legal medicine forensic pathology medical jurisprudence and what is the difference between forensic science and forensic medicine and what is the role of the forensic expert so not only the forensic expert does post mortem he also issues certificate in case of injury or wound wound certificate he examines bones cluster of bones and gives an opinion he examines set of x rays and gives an opinion regarding age and similarly he also examines the victim of sexual assault and accuse of sexual assault and gives a certificate so there are many roles of a forensic expert so the basic aim of the undergraduate student to read forensic medicine to is to apply the knowledge of anatomy physiology biochemistry then pathology microbiology pharmacology and medicine surgery og and integrate them so that they can apply the knowledge uh, and learn about the forensic aspects so applying the knowledge already learnt in the previous years will be very helpful for to solve cases and to do post mortem in forensic medicine